Hello, Vortex. I'm drinking coffee. That's why I keep rubbing my mouth. I always have stuff on my face, too. And I don't notice it until I'm done filming. Or, well, really, after I... Like, if I happen to see a mirror and I look at it and I'm like, Oh, shit, there's stuff all over me. Most women are mindful. How are you? You're not gonna tell me. It's okay. You just want my attention, don't you? That's most people. What do they want? You never tell me. And I feel that. Concentrated effort to understand where you're coming from and the language. Meow, meow, Yes, we do have full conversations. It's cool. They probably didn't get that from their last owners, so. I hope they enjoy this place more, though they probably don't remember anything. <laughs> mm hmm. They don't remember shit. Eventually, will I be an actual cat? Because <laughs> I have their mannerisms. And I forget a lot. Yeah, I forget a lot. That I don't know my condition. I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it, I accept. Most Americans reject whatever thing God gave them and just take the advice. Fuck them because they insist that everybody do it like this. No, thank you. No, thank you. I want to thank you for even thinking that I go along with that. And that you assume that I'm not gonna overanalyze this motherfucking room. I'm much better at that than you think you are, that what they pay you for. And now you know who's in the audience, right? There's always that internalized audience. Everybody has it. But artists really have it, and if they tap into it, what you see is what you get, motherfucker, and it can be something real good, right? Just gotta trust the process. I don't know that I'm very entertaining, by the way. I like this black and white. It's cool. It's so cool. <laughs> but we can pretend that it's another era. You guys, that's the appeal. It's one of the few, right? I mean, my honesty, the same thing that makes people like me, I mean, eventually, we'll see what you may... We'll see what you are. Based off what you make of me. Because I'm like on the lowest rung, okay? I'm the bottom feeder. I'm like shellfish. There's a reason why Jews don't eat that. They love money. <laughs>
makes me sad for you. But what can you do? Just let these people exist. And I can't help but notice everybody thinking that if they go online and rant, something will be done. <laughs> It's weird, because the world's still there, but it isn't in a way, and I've always lived my life somewhere else, because I didn't realize I had a say, and I thank the people that are determined to go somewhere else never find what they're looking for anyway. And I think the people that are going out of their way to transform themselves into whatever image they want, the image they want to believe, that's who they are underneath their actual factual gender. everything is when the devil controls your mind when the devil controls your mind your body's gonna go right along with whatever your mind tells you to believe and if the world is encouraging you to make bad decisions then that's what you're gonna do that's why i'm not angry i'm just sad so very sad that people are so insecure that they forget that God's the cure. And they just want to fit in with the world that will never truly love them back. Yeah. This world just expects and expects and expects and then projects and projects and projects. I really don't know what would work aside from reading the Bible, but very few are gonna do that. No matter how many of them wanna say, read your Bible, son. They don't say that. <laughs> no, they don't. I say that. I say that. I say that. <laughs> I just had an idea. You guys are part of my idea. Come along. <laughs> I want to show y'all proof of what practicing what you preach actually looks like. Okay? So I talk about a lot of stuff. I know I do. I know that I preach a lot. Um, I know that I am very, uh, dogmatic about my views. Now, I'm actually not like this in the real life. I'm like this in my art life because this is how I feel about the world. And, you know, when you live a separate life from the rest of the world, you tend to just be off, you know, in your own, you know, existence. And it's like I'm reacting. I'm reacting to the world. And everybody just does that online. They don't even realize that they're doing it. Well, see, I realize it too much to put it online the way that everybody else does. So my reaction is like um, out of time with with everybody else. Also, because I don't have a smartphone. But even if I did have a smartphone, even if I did 
have like social media or whatever, um, you know, I don't think it's a good thing to, to constantly be telling everybody everything. Um, I used to think I had borderline personality, so I was just so open and honest about everything. I feel like that is a borderline trait. I think that there's a link between cluster A and cluster B, and that link is borderline personality. So if you work on yourself, if you're like one of the few people that actually gives enough of a fuck to work on yourself that's in cluster B, well, that awareness of your condition will, will move you up to the fantastic cluster of... Um, the uh, paranoid personalities, the schizoid personalities, and the schizotypals. See, I react to myself. I am like the tried and true reactionary, okay? But, um, yeah, anyway. I do practice what I preach, though. I don't have a smartphone. I hate smartphones. Um, but I, I hate social networks. I think they're just, like, fucking satanic. I really do. So I don't use those either. I know the YouTube and Rumble are a form of that. I don't like that. I'm just trying to put myself out there to get my message out. And I know that if I re refuse to do that, it's, it's almost like I'm wimping out. I know, like, I do wrestle with that sometimes. But I just fucking hate it. I hate it so much. And I feel like it's a lot more important to, like, stay stubborn about it. Because I hate it. You know? And it's just complication that I don't want to add to my life. So it's like just being on YouTube and Rumble are bad enough. And I'm grateful for my fans. Thank you very much for watching and appreciating what I do. Um, but it's like so depressing. Like everything about this culture depresses me so much. So that's why I read the Bible all the time. Um, now this is a hard copy that was like $45 and I've already managed to like tear it apart. Isn't that amazing? I'm like amazing that way. But, um, I read something. Oh yeah, I think I read, I read Ecclesiastes already. Um, Let's just read it, and then I'm going to read the Bible. How about that? Isn't that exciting? This is the Wisdom of Solomon, okay? This is from the Orthodox Study Bible, by the way. So if you're expecting King James, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But I have a King James Version as well. It's upstairs. I don't feel like walking up there. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, so... I'm going to pretend that I'm Lauren and read the Bible with coffee. Okay? Love you, baby. Um, <laughs> seek the Lord. And I'm, I'm going to, like, possibly read the footnotes that are at the bottom if I feel like reading the footnotes, if I think that they're, like, worth a shit. Because sometimes they're not. Sometimes they tell you information that you don't care about or information that you already know because, like, you're a genius, right? You're a genius. You should call yourself Bible genius because it would be funny. Oh, and I would piss so many people off. But I don't want to do that because I feel like that's wrong. <laughs> See, I practice what I preach, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to say some fucked up shit like that, okay? It's already bad enough that I swear. Especially when holding a Bible, right? But anyway, God knows me. <laughs> you don't know me. God knows me, damn it. Okay? Seek the Lord. <laughs> Love righteousness, you who judge on the earth. Think about the Lord and goodness, and seek him with sincerity of heart, because he is found by those who do not tempt him, and he is manifest to those who do not disbelieve him. For dishonest reasoning separates people from God, and when his power examines someone, it convicts the undiscerning, for wisdom will not enter the soul that plots evil, nor will it dwell in a body involved in sin. For a holy spirit of discipline flees from deceit and sends away undiscerning reasoning. It will put wrongdoing to shame when it comes near. That's so true.
Because, like, you hear people all the time, like, making rationale for, like, making rationale. Whatever, man. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> they just make up excuses for really bad behavior. And it's because they don't have discernment. So they don't understand that they don't have to give in to, like, every impulse. And I think a lot of times, though, this world will, like, tempt you to do all kinds of things that aren't in your best interest. And you'll become convinced that, oh, well, I just have to do it. You know? You never have to do anything that you don't want to do. Okay? He is found by those who do not tempt him. He is manifest to those who do not disbelieve him. For dishonest reasoning separates people from God. Yes, yeah, like right there, you hear a lot, like I get into, well, I used to get into arguments. I don't really get into them anymore because there's just no point. Um, you know, people that just say, oh, well, you can't prove it or whatever. It's like, yeah, that's what faith is, man. You have to believe something. But it's like people believe in like what they see, though, um, like, on the surface, they believe, like, what somebody tells them, and I feel like because they're not cognizant of, like, the spiritual element that underlies everything, they are easily duped by that system, you know? It makes sense, if you think about it with that sort of perspective, and so don't be angry that they can't see what you can see, you know, just be grateful for your undiagnosed schizophrenia, okay? Because that's what they're going to say. Like, anytime you talk about God, but especially if you talk about the devil, they're going to insist that you have schizophrenia. <laughs> I do. You're right, though. Congratulations. That's the only one you'll get. <laughs> anyway. Let's see. God examines our actions. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's read the footnotes, okay? Just for fun. Jesus promised, seek and you will find... From Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Jesus promised, seek and you will find just as is promised here. Yes. According to St. Paul, Christ is the wisdom of God. Fuck yeah, he is. See, I'm trying to get people to come to Christ that, like, most Christians aren't going to be able to get. So there's a passage. That'd be really cool if I could find it right now, but I probably won't, just to let you know. But I'm still going to try anyway, because that's how much I love you, Vortex. I'm going to try to find the very thing that I'm talking about. Because a lot of the time, you know, I, I question myself constantly, and I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing, always. Um... And I, I do that to a fault. It's really obnoxious, and I wish I, I could turn that off sometimes. I did with alcohol. That's why I was so bad, and I was, I was such a bad drunk. Because um, I, you know, was, was uh, trying to kill my conscience, which is always, like, yelling and flaying. Um, so that really did it, though. And then I was just fucking, like, Satan. Satan's fucking grandchild or some shit, you know, like, that's how it felt, um, but, anyway, I don't know what I was, you were gonna look up something in Corinthians, I think, over, um, language, maybe it's in Romans, though, it might be in Romans, um, yeah, but it's all about, like, Paul's, like, sort of, like, chameleon-like attitude um, towards um, the people that he's preaching to. And so, like, yeah, I, I look at my comedy the same way. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I continue to swear. Um, I probably won't be able to find it. But 
he does that because of how Jesus became a chameleon and like took on human form for us you know that's the whole point of it so it's like if you uh, really want to help somebody you have to like lower yourself to their level you know in a way I mean not not in a, like in a moral way or unethical way but like just to help people yeah it's like I just thought this in order to help people move up sometimes you have to move down Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I always quote that, um, was it? Corinthians chapter 8 about like eating food sacrificed to idols. So it's like you understand that if you understand something like Okay, I don't idolize this thing that I use all the time. You know, there are plenty of people that have a smartphone that don't idolize it. But most people do. That's why I said, like, when smartphones came out, I was like, it's over. You know, I wasn't even a Christian or anything, but it's, like, so obviously bad, you know? Like, I just see people all the time, and I'm like, I'm a fucking boring-ass person. You know, and I can't help but think that. I feel bad. I feel bad. And I'm like, what if you're the boring-ass person? What if, like, all these people are just super interesting? Yeah, they're just as interesting as Joe Rogan. <laughs> just keep dunking. Just keep dunking on that motherfucker. I love dunking on people, obviously. It's a slam dunk with him now. Man. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think you're going to find it, dude. You should just go back to what you were reading before. Okay, okay. Um, For Holy Spirit of discipline flees from deceit and sends away undiscerning reasoning. It will put wrong doing to shame when it comes near, for wisdom is a spirit that loves mankind. But she will punish a blasphemer because of his words, for God is a witness of his thoughts, the true examiner of his heart and the hearer of his tongue. Because the Spirit of the Lord fills the world, and he who holds all things together knows what is said. I'm sorry. I like any time I read something profound, I have to like stop and think about it. I'll keep going. Um, because the spirit of the Lord fills the world and he who holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore, no one who speaks unrighteous things will escape notice, nor will justice when it cross examines pass him by. For there shall be a close examination into the deliberations of an ungodly man, and a report of his words will come to the Lord as proof of his lawlessness. For the zealous ear hears all things, and the noise of murmuring is not hidden. Therefore, keep yourself from useless murmuring, and refrain your tongue from evil speech. For no secret word will go unpunished, and a lying mouth will destroy one's soul. Well, so I was talking about social media, right? Right, right, right. Cheers to not doing social media the way that everybody else is doing social media and is self-destructing and they don't even know it. At least we know that we run into stuff with our car, okay? At least we know we don't have to remind ourselves every day that we used to have a drinking problem, okay? 
so much that we're pretty aware of in relation to how bad we are, okay? See, I embrace that. Um, shadow self. I did what so many people are terrified of doing. I like really, really looked into myself and all the stuff that I didn't like. I said, let's explore that shit. And I became a completely different person. I became the opposite person of who I really am. And that's interesting. It's interesting to um, self-destruct. And like the whole time, like be aware that you're doing that. And, you know, still keep doing it. And still just like ye motherfucking ha the whole time. You know, because I, I was very, like, obvious. You know, because some people, they keep that shit under wraps. Um, we don't keep anything under wraps. You know, we let it all hang out. Um, so, yeah, that that's, um, that's interesting to watch that, you know, when you're doing it. Uh, but I, I know that God has different footage, though. He has different footage because the fact that I blacked out a lot of the time. Um, so I know that he's got more footage than I do. And, see, I've always known that my awareness, it, it comes from God, which is why Satan fucks with me, because it's so easy for him to do. Um, when you have awareness of stuff, it makes you really depressed. And But it's like I don't have the depression from like the awareness that I have of myself anymore because like I've faced that you know obviously with the shadow self though know, God got me through all that he got me through all that because he knew how much I would work for him so over time baby over time <sighs> but we have to we want to anyway we want to we don't complain it's fucking awesome um cause he saved my life he saved the life that I didn't even want him to save, but now I'm really grateful that he did. You know, I'm really grateful that, like, I didn't commit suicide. I'm really grateful that I didn't, you know, die of, like, alcohol poisoning or something because that was definitely something that um, was a possibility, you know? So, anyway. Um, this video, I think it cuts out at, like, 32 minutes or something. Notice that. Notice that. Uh, a couple, a couple days ago or whatever. But anyway, I'll see y'all.